I think you're right. The way we run our lives when we're so busy, a day in the summer could be very much the same as a day in the winter or the fall or the spring when you're just mindlessly going, yes. going, going. Where when I think about my childhood memories, some of my favorite ones, one was that my mom would let me miss a day of school to go apple picking with her every oh. year. And that was such a highlight for me. And so I would anticipate fall mm. because we could go, I'd miss a day, we'd pick apples, and then the whole making the apple pie and the applesauce. Mm. And that was just such a highlight. Mm. So I think if we all think about some of our memories, they're probably seasonally based, some of those family traditions. Yes. Oh, yes. And I don't think we want to get rid of that by running on this rat race mm -hmm. treadmill mm -hmm. kind of thing where every day could be the same as any other. You know, berry season, I know with my kids, uh, we just look so forward to what's next because, you know, one yes. comes after another. It's the strawberries and the cherries and yeah. the blueberries. And I think they are really, I'm hoping, they're really going to hold on to that as they get older and, mm -hmm. and pass that mm -hmm. on to their children because I do think you have to pass this on to your children. We have to teach it. Mm -hmm. We can't just mm -hmm. think it's going to happen naturally. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have some lovely memories in here oh, from your too. own yes. childhood. Mm -hmm. I loved all your stories. And it made me, it made me remember my own childhood and, and when you think about your mom, it, you know, I always picture you in the kitchen and mm -hmm. I know that it might not be a good thing, but um, it's, it's, um, it reminded me how important food is to families and how important mm -hmm. food traditions mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just made me more conscious of that. But I loved your stories, mm -hmm. your, your stories of your oh, Thank you, but it's, it's, it's good what stories. you say. Yeah, but, you know, I like to hear that because in, in cities, you know, women your age uh, might not have grown up with all that. You, yes. you, you're very lucky. And the few cities I've seen in the Midwest, you know, everyone was telling me about their mother's cooking and doing, you know, making, um, um, canned food, you know, and, and um, I mean canning food, not sure. making canned food, canning <laughs> food, which very few people do today, but I grew up like that too. And, you know, are we going to be able to, to, to do that with our children? Maybe not, but we'll ha still have to find ways of giving them the fresh berries. Now, today I see, for example, in Long Island, where some of my young relatives live, you know, in, in the summer you can go to the farms and take your children to pick strawberries and all that. So it's a bit different, but it's still, you know, being touched with nature and the seasons, which is very, very vital. And I love to see a lot of mother and daughters, you know, with coming to readings and, and uh, seeing the connection or remembering that, you know, well, I hadn't thought about that, but I grew up like that too, you know. No. I was going to say, that's what I liked about the book, is that you brought in those memories, and um, it, it, makes, it makes you connect to the book, and it also makes you think about what it is that you did as a child, mm -hmm. you know, that you really liked to. Is that something that you purposely did when you sat down to write this, the first book, because it's in there too? Did you decide to, um, to put in some of your personal experiences, or did it just kind of happen as you were writing? No, I, I did because, because I think, you know, every one of us could write a book about our childhood and, and about the good experiences. Mine was just happened to be linked with, with my, you know, my weight problem of, the, of those days and, mm -hmm. and how um, basically it came from this doctor who helped me. But in a way, uh, it was nothing, no brain surgery, just common sense. It just reacquainted me to, to the way my mother brought me up. But Mark now I was, you know, 18 and living in Paris, and he, he tells me, well, you know, go to the market, start cooking, and, you know, I sort of had taken all this for granted. But then looking back, I, I realized there were all these wonderful memories. Mm -hmm. And so I, I put them as anecdotes to, to, to let you know, you know, how I grew up. Uh, but uh, it was a fun thing to do. <laughs>